Hello, my name is Roger Wickenden. I'm a director here at Barton Lodge Veterinary Centre in Hemel Hempstead. I've been a veterinary surgeon over 30 years now. So today what I'm going to try and do is to answer some of the questions you've been asking about your dog's health problems. How to treat your dog's depression? In my opinion, and the opinion of dog behaviourists I've spoken to, dogs do not suffer from depression as medically recognised in people, but can become disorientated and lethargic after the loss of a long-term companion, be it another pet or an owner. The disorientation and the lethargy we interpret as depression comes from the loss of companionship, especially where it's the result of the death of an owner and the changes to the dog's routine and lifestyle that that all entails. If your dog is displaying signs of disorientation and lethargy following the death of an animal companion, it is important to try to reduce the number of changes they experience. It's important as far as possible to maintain the familiar structure of the dog's life and to retain objects familiar to the dog. You may think that you're giving your dog a treat by getting it a new basket or some new bedding, but to them it may be that these are familiar things with the smell of their old companions which will be comforting and another way of them being able to stay focused and not become disorientated. However, if you another situation where dogs might show disorientation and lethargy is, is when you acquire a dog after the death of their owner. And there it's really important to try and retain some calmness and the structure of their old life as far as, as far as possible. So when you get your new dog, you want to make sure that you give it some peace and quiet and a, and a nice steady routine so it knows what's happening each day in its life. Um, and you also, you also want to be, you don't want to be in too much of a hurry to get rid of objects that are really familiar to it. So hang on to that, maybe rather smelly old bed or the old basket and maybe even its old collar because these will all be things that are familiar to the dog. And if you take all these steps, you can gradually allow the dog to recover from its disorientation and to start to enjoy life again. So that's how to treat your dog's depression, or as we've discussed, the disorientation and lethargy that comes from loss of companionship, be it another pet or, an, or its owner.